Hey everybody, it's Jason Creels, Lawn Care Life. Today, I want to show you what's going on in the yard, show you what I'm planning on to do to fix a big glaring problem. So let me show it to you and then we'll talk about how to fix it. I live on a fairly busy street and I apologize for the sun's getting us this morning. I'm gonna try to go over here where we can see. But my Bermuda yard has been looking pretty good and it's it's uh, come a long way because I plugged this yard and, and it's filled in nicely. Now, we did a big renovation on the house. So you got like here where the gas line ran, things like that, pardon my shadow. But the big, obvious, huge, ugly spot is right here. And this is where our new septic tank <laughs> went. So uh, it's a giant bare spot. And I'm going to show you my plan to fix the bare spot here in the lawn. And this will work whether you have a giant bare spot or whether you have a smaller bare spot. And I'm dealing with Bermuda grass today, so I want to talk to you about that. But I'm not only using Bermuda grass, I'm going to tell you what my strategy is um, right now. And we, I'm not only going to tell you, I'm going to demonstrate it. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Yardbook. My lawn care company is powered by Yardbook. That is the software that I use to manage my business. Check them out, yardbook.com. There is a link in the description. All right, believe it or not, I've got about four acres of property here and I've grown in the Bermuda grass almost exclusively from plugging sod. Now, I either plugged it with the tool I'm gonna show you today or I just threw some sod out and let it spread over time. So that's my strategy on this too, but that's not the only thing I can do. But I'm gonna be using this tool right here. Really cool, it's called a Pro Plugger. I'll put a link in the description. And what it does, it's gonna, I'm gonna show you, but you step on it and it cuts out, basically like looks like you were making a golf hole in the ground and it has some dirt to it, which is great. And then I can go put those in the soil, space them out. The closer you space them together, the quicker it's gonna fill in. Now, the problem I'm dealing with, and this is where the extra steps are gonna be involved, is this fall uh, in here where I'm doing this video. So our grass is really, the Bermuda's not gonna be growing much for the rest of this year. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get that to fill in until next summer, most likely, unless I was just to sod it solid, which I don't wanna do. So what I'm basically doing is I'm stealing plugs of sod from the existing lawn with the Pro Plugger. I'm gonna put them in this bucket and then I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna replant them. Now I like to do this when the ground is wet after you had some rain because when you go to put them back in the soil, sometimes you don't even have to um, use the plugger to make a hole. The ground's soggy and muddy. You can literally just step on it. So I may try that today. I'll uh, demonstrate, but because it's fall and because the Bermuda grass is not gonna be growing, what I'm gonna do, because it's a big bare spot and it's gonna be a mud hole this winter, I'm gonna also overseed it with the winter ryegrass, annual ryegrass. I don't really wanna do that. I'm probably not gonna overseed the whole yard because it's big and it's gonna look awkward having part of it overseeded and part of it not overseeded. But I think the alternative is just to have a mud hole out there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and overseed it with the rye grass. That'll at least hold the dirt in place. The Bermuda grass will be taking root this winter even though it's not gonna be spreading. And then next spring as the weather begins to warm, that Bermuda will already be in the ground, already be rooted. I won't have to worry about watering it a bunch to get it spread. And I think next year we'll get it to cover uh, very quickly. Now I also have some very large spots in the backyard that were graded out with a skid steer. So, so I'm gonna be doing this in a lot of areas, but you can do it in a small area, big area, whatever. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use a pro plugger. I'll come back overseed it with ryegrass later. All right, all you gotta do is just step on this thing. Again, it's gonna do, be easier when it's, uh, when the ground is soft after a rain and it'll hold about 10 plugs of grass in it. Now I got the bucket so I can just dump it in the bucket and keep going. Of course, this will fill back in no problem. If you wanted to put some sand or topsoil in these holes, you could, or you could take the holes from the where you're gonna be putting it at and replace it. I probably won't do either. Just let it fill in over time on its own. All right, so I got it filled up and let me show you what it looks like. So look at that. I mean, you're getting the roots and everything. So when you put that down in the soil, it's got an extremely high chance of survival. Okay, and then I'm gonna put these ever so often. I'm gonna dump these in the bucket. I'm gonna get one more load and then we'll go plant them.
You can see the holes that it pulls from the ground. Again, you can go back in and fill that in with dirt if you want to. I may or may not do that, I'm not sure. People also use this thing, I haven't tried it for this, but they use it for like planting bulbs. So if you were gonna dig a hole like that, you drop your bulb in there and then cover it with dirt. All right, I could stay out here and do this all day, but I got a half a bucket, let's go plant them. Now Bermuda grass is very hardy. It, once you get it in the ground, it's almost impossible for it not to survive. So in this situation, if the ground's real soft and muddy, I can literally just put it on the ground and probably just step on it. And so I've squished that down in the mud and that's good to go, you know. So that's one way to do it. The ground's real soft, which it's extremely soft. You can see my footprint sinking down in here. Boom. That, and you think, this looks ridiculous, Jason. What are you doing? I, I, I feel very confident that this will all be nice, beautiful Bermuda grass next year. I just got to get it in the ground so that it doesn't die. Okay, but let's say your ground's a little bit harder and, and you can't do that. Well, you can do the, the same process. You can take your pro plugger and you can sort of dig you some holes and then drop it down in the hole that you just created. Okay, and then step on it. So I can do it that way too. Now I've actually got some mulch and flower beds. Um, you, you can almost not even see the contrast between the flower bed and the yard because it's just dirt. It's brown on brown. But when this is nice and green, beautiful Bermuda grass, and then having the mulch in the background with some flower and shrubs, I think it's gonna look really nice. All right, so the next step for me, I'm gonna wait for the weather to cool off just a little bit more. I'm filming this in September. When I get into October and I see some cool, rainy weather, I'm gonna overseed that ryegrass to give this something to cover in the winter time. And then, because I'm in Alabama, the weather gets hot, next, uh, next spring, or it may be on into April or May, the ryegrass will actually die off. And again, I don't really want the ryegrass, but I'm gonna do it just to hold the dirt in place because of the situation. But if it doesn't die off fast enough, then I use a product called Katana. I run a weed control and fertilization company. So I just spray Katana on it, which will knock out the ryegrass, leave the Bermuda, because once it gets to April, I want that Bermuda to start spreading. And by April or May, I'll start fertilizing it and get this looking good. So that's the plan, how I'm gonna fill in a bare spot in my lawn. I'm Jason Creel, I appreciate you watching the video. There are a lot of resources over at LawnCareLife.com, including I'm opening up a coaching class again this fall, starting November 3rd, 2021. So you can check that out. There's the Weed Control Fertilization Academy. I got the uh, uh, Lawn Business Master Academy. I got Mosquito Academy, logos, documents, all kinds of stuff. Leave me a comment, let me hear from you. I'll talk to you later, bye.